everybody! Welcome to this playlist Balloon Twisting for Beginners and for everyone else. You never know, you can have something cool to do with a simple balloon animal. And this is gonna be the balloon dog, the basic, the first one. But we're gonna start inflating with this pump because if you're a beginning, probably you have a manual pump. And if you don't have a manual pump, uh, you should get one. <laughs> okay? So this is what I do. I inflate a balloon, you know, most of the time to make a basic design leaving like eight finger tail and this is kind of like if you watch tutorial balloon tutorials people kind of tend to measure with fingers you know the measure measuring bubbles measuring this tail you know that is the space that you don't push air so so and it doesn't matter at the end you will you know with practice uh you will be able to um do this without thinking about uh, how much amount of air you're gonna inflate. Okay, so um, let's start with this. Um, you notice how I tied a balloon? I did it fast, and I don't know how basic is you um, right now. So I'm gonna just, for example, um, just inflate any other balloon. Yes, and let's go with an orange. So again, manual pump. If you're already watching channel I make more elaborated balloon tutorials balloon designs but now I want to make sure you know also if you are just a beginner and just starting you can also enjoy this channel watching these tutorials that I'm gonna make a playlist with the most basic classic designs so look when I inflate a balloon you have this here is the nozzle so what I do and I try to don't think about it but do it slowly and so you can see and then I pass the nozzle and pull this loop, pull and push the nozzle and like that. So then we have to think how to do it in a fast way. So you have your manual pump and I'm gonna try to this videos to be fast. Okay, so no more than 10 minutes, 10 minutes this video. And it's in English, but you will find a, a Spanish version too. Yep. So you inflate the balloon, leaving like eight or nine finger tail. For a balloon dog, you have this. You pull. But for me, it's better instead of showing you, so you see how I do it. Pull, go around my middle, my index finger. And then I pull, so I do this. So what is I just pushing with my thumb? I have it here that the this is hiding there with my thumb, but I pull and my thumb push the the nozzle. When I have it there, I pull out this finger out and there it go. Okay, let's start now. That's probably something so you can see how I do it too, because there is probably different ways to make a simple balloon dog. But this is going to be the way I do it. And also going to show you how I teach kids how to do it. Okay, so first, when I'm going to a party and I see that we, um, there is like eight kids or six. And I have already made balloons for all the kids. And we still have time. So I started making some games or doing some uh, tutorials for basic design. So the kids feel special to make their own balloon creations. So what I do is... I teach them how to make the balloon dog. I inflate the balloon for them and tie them. Because little kids, you know, they have special, you know, very short hands. So for them, it's gonna be easier if you teach it this way. And if you're a beginning, this is gonna be the first time you're gonna learn this design to impress your friends. Look, my left hand always pinch. This is my left hand. So for you, you're gonna, I don't know, see it in the left side, <laughs> right? <laughs> but my left hand always pinch, hold, Okay, measure maybe four fingers, two fingers, three fingers. So I'm gonna measure like a hand. So when it's like a hand, it's like you hold all these ladies. And right there, it's kind of like a cross four finger bubble with one more, so five. You pinch my right hand, twist. One, two, three, four. My right hand, you know, kind of squish to make the balloon softer. And then you're gonna make a loop. This is a loop. And then you're gonna grab all. So we tell the kid to try to uh, like strangle the balloon all together. And then my right hand twist. One, two, three, four. Again, we're gonna repeat and you can tell the kids 
the kids we're going to repeat this two more times so let's measure four or five finger bubble okay so like this we pinch my left hand pinch my right hand twist one two three four we my right hand is squish and make a loop soft and with both hands because if it's a little kid both hands strangle hold this and what i'm doing here is a strangle like this pinching all this together and my right hand is going to twist one two three four so now we start putting things in proper position so Pete, the kids also can see you start have the head the ears the neck front legs we're going to do this one more time we squish we make the body we measure four or five finger bubble pinch my right hand is squish and you make a loop we strangle this loop like this and my right hand is going to twist one two three four and then you have the basic dog now there is another step here that you have to make a little bubble for beginners and then squish squish all the way up the bubble and then make some pressure there so you stretch this part so more air is going to stay there and then you let it go the twist there if you are more advanced we're going to do it in a moment but this is the basic the basic balloon dog easy so all kids can learn and even also adults adults like 70 years old 75 80 years old they can also learn this design the first time the beginning okay now let's go with another way to make a dog because we're like seven minutes almost okay let's do this fast now the other way will be if you remember the rules one hand measure so the left pinch my right hand twist one two three four at least four times and then look i use these fingers like pinky and this one too the ring finger and then i measure but if you don't have you know your fingers so long because if you're going to measure now here another four finger bubble and lift that other bubble is going to get and twist so you pinch you twist my right hand and then i use my pinky and then I just kind of have the idea. You know, this is gonna be a cross four finger bubble. And so I, so I pinch, I twist, and then I always, you know, my right hand is squish, and then look, I have now two bubbles, but don't let go the first bubble. This one, don't let it go here in the middle. Because if you let it go, it's gonna all get untwist. You can make 20 little bubbles, and if you don't let go this, everything's gonna look fine. If you let it go, all the little bubbles are gonna get untwist now we're gonna measure a bubble that is the same size like this one but again my fingers are not so long that I'm gonna measure so you can also bend this and you know this is four finger bubble so this one next to the other you will see is four finger bubbles and look my my left hand is also like a ruler and look at my middle finger is there measuring it's the same size you can grab like this way too so you measure there and now my middle finger look this is what i do my middle and my index squish and my right hand twist one two three four and then you have three bubbles and you're gonna grab these two last bubbles and twist it one two three four now you can keep going but if you're already more advanced and you know the kids are gonna play with this balloon you can pass the first bubble through so what i do is i open these bubbles and pull and roll it when i say roll it open these two bubbles and then with these fingers look i'm gonna push inside the, that little hole while i'm rolling these two bubbles and it's there locked no matter Anything the kids start doing is not gonna get untwist. And we're gonna do the same two more times. So again, we measure four finger bubble. We twist, one, two, three, four. Using my finger, measure like the, the idea that is four finger bubble. Four finger bubble, measure that is the same. And again, you can do the same. You can pass through this, the last part. And up, while you open those bubbles, you pass, it's locked. You can even make a little pinch twist here. So then it's locked and it's straight, your doggy. But pinch twist, if you're a beginner, you don't know what is a pinch twist. So keep going right now. So again, measure, twist. Do, 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 do. And now, now you visually you see, oh, four finger bubble, pinch, twist. Now, one. And again, four finger bubble like this way. Measure, pinch, twist. And you can open this bubble and push the last bubble all the way through there. And you put things in proper position. What is another way to make that tail? 
you can like i say pinch and twist or you can have this and pull the end so then it's stretched already and then grabbing all this and hide it don't squish it because we want air to go through here like a straw it's gonna push the air all the way up here and then you just push it's all about practice but there you go so now i'm gonna show you how i do it with not much explanation but you will see this design is a basic it's fast and secure especially if you're gonna make the easy to a party and give it to kids i recommend you to do it this way so it's not gonna get and twist and kids are not gonna come all the time to you asking to fix them it's gonna be safe so i hope you like it look there's other things and you see i try to make fast videos but it's hard because i like to show you all the things that start coming out of my mind <laughs> and i'm not have a script you know that's something that i'm gonna say what am i gonna say next nope no it's just too, just too much work <laughs> now look it's a river um what is this for your hair so these things you can find in on a dollar store if you live in the united states a hundred of these little things to make ponytails uh you can uh, find them there in the dollar store and you can just this is what i do i grab these little metal things pass it the other side and then i just look pass one and the metal goes through there so it stays there the same thing here pass the metal part and then the metal goes to this loop this loop is gonna go the metal and there and then you can always um you know give it to the kid like this the kid is show me your arm so the kids go bang and then this pass all the way through this level and then you help the kid to do this or you can give it to the, your, the parents the parents are in charge to do this part now because it's the basic balloon dog it's optional you don't have to add eyes and the nose and the smiley face just like this is looking like a really cool idea i hope you like it have a wonderful day and enjoy this playlist that is for beginners and everyone else because you never know you can learn something new from the basics of balloon twisting bye bye hey one more thing if you like this video if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome youtube channel about balloon twisting tutorials don't forget you can always donate because all you give money it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better you know so you go um go donate to my uh paypal account alpacaglobo at gmail.com and i will appreciate it for sure <laughs> thank you bye